All right, Future Ammon is just a crazy character. I feel like he could easily break top five tech right now, and he's still super new, so the potential is just insane with this guy, right? His control is just phenomenal, his damage output is also just crazy good, and yeah, overall, just a very good champion overall. I just said overall twice. Anyways, um, yeah, so the rotation here is you want to build up to like two bars of power, and then do a light ending combo and this is like where it gets a bit weird because he will then special lock himself to just the sp1 and then you can drop it there but then you'll get the power back afterwards so you'll be on sp1 again and then after that just wait till you're at the sp2 and then when the power detonation is active drop your sp2 for some nice disintegration damage and yeah that's the rotation pretty much for like this type of health pool and like higher health pools you just want to do multiple sp1s but yeah overall just a really clean rotation really like straightforward not too like tight like the window of it it's not too tight it's just a really like simple rotation i feel like so yeah here drop the sp2 some crazy good damage and yeah just obliterate that fight man with classes advantage as well so yeah just a super good character here and now we have battlegrounds this is the masochism meta and he just does his fight so well versus mutants his damage output is just crazy good and right here we go for the intercepts because intercepts build nano armors and when you have six nano armors you get surging swarm and this increases your attack rating and just lets you do a lot of damage output so yeah um it's pretty important to get it and you can just do it by intercepting or like countering a heavy attack so yeah just pretty straightforward to get it's not too bad if you want to play it safe just go for the heavy attack countering but if you want to like be a little bit risky then do the intercepting right but yeah overall just a pretty clean fight and yeah you're gonna see the damage output man it becomes quite crazy so here we drop a combo then we drop the sp2 and the damage output is just look at that man so so good that's just one disintegration too like if we had two of them he would just be completely gone right but yeah that was about like 48 seconds for a 195,000 health apocalypse pretty dang sweet and notice how he didn't throw a single special attack in that fight and that's just like that goes to show how good his control is right his control is just crazy good like the opponent can like not throw a single special attack in the entire fight if you wanted to it is just so so good man and i feel like that's why he is arguably a top five tech character because his control is just crazy good and not only that the damage output is just phenomenal as well and here we have this uh, dress code and power technician lane so what this does is whenever you like have an armor up whenever you parry the opponent you power drain them so yeah future amen has like a bunch of armor up so yeah he just takes advantage of this node super well and honestly Another reason why he's so good is because there are so many tech lanes that like tailor towards his abilities, right? Like, you know, armor up, power drain, like everything, he just like has it. And yeah, it's just super cool because he's a very new character and they're like tailoring towards him, I feel like. So right here, this is um the dress code lane. This is a Havoc and, you know, feature Ant-Man. He is one of my favorite Havoc counters because usually Havoc counters have energy damage, right? But Havoc has massive energy resistance. So it's like, what's the point, man? That's so annoying. Like, you know why make a havoc counter have energy damage it just makes the fight super long but future ant-man he is like direct damage i think so yeah it's like like the direct damage paired with the armor ups make him like probably one of the best havoc counters out there and the power drain as well to like control the plasmas it is just awesome man he's such a good havoc counter like even in 2023 we still have havoc counters it's quite crazy but then again he's not just a havoc counter right like he just counters so many different things with the power control it is just so good man but yeah here we just drop the sp1 and then we can just drop it once again because of like you know the special lock mechanic it's super weird man but it's also super cool it's really unique as well so yeah just pretty sweet ability there so here i drop the sp1 again and now we are about to have three disintegrations since we're fully ramped now we can just drop the sp2 and just see some pretty nice numbers man so yeah he drops the sp1 here that's fine we just dex it then we go for an intercept no we go for like a heavy counter right and then after that we can just drop the sp2 a kind of tight window there but we still get the damage and look at that man just like forty-seven thousand per hit it is so it's just like so crazy good man it is so so good and by the way, this is just a rank 3 future Ant-Man. If he was like rank 4, that might have one-shot him. Who knows? But um, yeah, I might rank 4 him because he's pretty dang good, obviously. But I kind of have like other techs in mind, like uh, Lady Deathstrike. I am so excited for her, man. I just cannot wait to get her. Hopefully as a 7 star. Knowing my luck, I might just do it. <laughs> Who knows, right? But um, yeah. And check this out. Here we get hit, but the damage output is capped. And that's thanks to his sick ability, which reduces damage output up to 10% of his maximum health and if like it hits that cap he gets a regen as well so yeah overall it's really good additionally he reduces bleed and incinerate duration by up to like 90 percent i think which is just also super massive right so yeah a really good ability to invest into i feel like but then again 
pretty much every tech this year needs max sig i feel like and that kind of sucks because like that's 800 tech six stones man that is a ton and there's also like a ton of techs that already want it like from the past like you know um nimrod ghost uh who else wants it like there's a lot of characters that do want it right so yeah it's just like a really competing class i feel like a really competitive class for the signature stones but honestly future Ant-Man is easily like one of those that are just super worth it in my opinion but yeah, here's another power technician lane. He just does this so well. Here we drop the SP2, and look at the damage output, man. It is just bonkers. It is just so, so bonkers. And yeah, he just obliterates that fight. And now we have this one. This is fighting dirty, uh, clean slate, shock vulnerability, high voltage, just like a bunch of tech nodes, right? So basically, whenever they drop a special attack, they'll go unblockable unless they have a shock. And also, if you power drain them, you inflict shock on them. And then they take more damage while shocked. So pretty much... Future Ammon is just good for this because he has power drain. And yeah, look at this. He gets power drain, he gets shocked. But then look at this. We can just not let him throw a special tech either if we wanted to because his control is just that good. It is just that powerful, man. So yeah, just his control is just way too good, I feel like. But not like nerf worthy good. It is just like super powerful, right? You know, there's a difference between just like super good and just like nerf worthy good. His control isn't really nerf worthy, I feel like. It is just like balanced but overpowered right if that makes any sense whatsoever so here we drop the sp2 i believe and yeah the damage output is pretty dang sweet look at that man just a lot of damage output right there and then he drops the sp2 oh no he doesn't actually we just play it slow a little bit here uh we drop the sp1 here so we can just power jam a little bit and yeah after that it's just the fight's under control i feel like so yeah here we drop the sp1 he drops his sp1 he doesn't go unblockable though because of the shock that's on him but he does purify um our disintegrations unfortunately which kind of sucks but to be honest it's fine the fight's like almost over anyway so we can just we can just end the fight with one sp2 regardless of disintegrations i feel like so yeah here we drop the sp2 and pretty nice damage man even like with no disintegrations it's still pretty good damage output and yeah overall a very clean fight in like a minute and 14 seconds or something and now we have this last fight which is the chitinous thorns but also fortification so the armor ups that we have here give us bleed immunity and like that helps us get fury passives and yeah it just leads to a lot of like a lot of damage output but here i kind of played it bad because i didn't let him throw specials but you want him to do that in this fight because he'll get armor up buffs and then that'll like trigger the bleeds on you which will give you fury passives right so yeah i kind of messed it up in the beginning of the fight but once I realized like that I had to let him throw special attacks, the fight was just super fast afterwards. So yeah, here I'm building up disintegrations right now with the SP1 and like letting the power donation expire as well, which gives you another disintegration. And then yeah, I drop more SP1 here, I believe, to like power drain him a little bit. And after that, we can just, you know, go to town. And uh, yeah, the damage output is gonna be super, super good. I think here he throws an SP1, I believe. Yeah, he throws it here. And now he has an armor up buff, right? And like every time we hit him, we get a fury passive. So yeah, it just leads to some crazy damage output. And then watch this. We drop the SP2. And yeah, look at this, man. Just crazy numbers. And he just gets obliterated. So yeah, future Ant-Man, such a good champion, man. I've seen a lot of war gameplay as well. He just crushes Alliance War as well. So yeah, just overall, a very good all-arounder, like Quester, battlegrounds character and defender also just really good for alliance war he just does it all i feel like so yeah a super good character let me know your thoughts on future ant-man and that's about it for me